last one is qadh al muhsanat al mu'minat al ghafilat to falsely accuse the believing females who are innocent of the sin you are accusing them of primarily immorality people today come out and say that one is having an affair with this one this one is having an affair what did you see you just saw them talking together what else did you see you saw one message on the phone what else did you see and you know how far your accusation went subhanallah i am not condoning messages on the phones but i'm telling you if the prophet sallallahu says be careful about accusing others of immorality then you need to know it's a serious sin it happened at the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Surah An-Nur has in it verses that have clarified accusations against our mother Aisha radiyallahu anha. That was not for nothing. Allah says, "Waladin tawalla kibrahu minhum lahu adabun alim." The one who started all of it, the main man who was behind the accusation against Aisha radiyallahu anha, he will have a severe punishment. But more than that, li kullim riim minhum maktasab min al ithm. Everyone who spread the tale, everyone who enjoyed the gossip is going to be punished because of what they have done, what they have earned. So there are two things we need to know. Never accuse someone of something, especially when it comes to immorality, because false accusation is something major. And secondly, never become a person who enjoys gossip because then you will be carrying tales. And when you carry tales, naturally, you will carry something that is wrong and you will earn an equal portion of the sin based on what you have done. So that is the one hadith that speaks about the major sins or the sins that we have been warned about. Al-Muhlikat, they will destroy you 